There's, there's always a lot of guest stars. The guest stars in the show can really be divided into uh, three groups. One, pop culture people that we just called up and thought it would be cool to see them on TV. David Copperfield. That's like pop culture heroin for the writers, the fact that we can think of how odd it is to have those, those people's faces running around in your head and actually see them in front of you a day later. Oh, <laughs> magic! The next one is there's a lot of, uh, uh, we have a lot of friends that we think are funny. Woohoo! I got a tube in my penis. Third category for us is stunt casting. Stunt casting is trying to get someone who the network thinks is famous enough to bring in more ratings. Dave Van Dyke was kind of an idol of mine. Hey, Doc! To actually meet him was really, really a kick. Thank you for being you. Dick Van Dyke belongs in that category of people that made television be what television is. In the last 50 years, the culture has changed drastically, and comedy reflects that. This is a much faster pace, everything's abbreviated, it's a little harder edge. Do me a favor, will you, son? Grab that for me. <clears throat> Thanks. <clears throat> so it's just something that an old hand like me has to get used to. Oh, season two was the Heather Locklear episodes, too. Heather made a beautiful, beautiful entrance. <laughs> just the most smoking thing on the planet. We both know that you'd love nothing more than to smack this fine ass. Times when she's spanking her ass when she's walking away from me and I'm, it's making me shudder. Oh. There's not a damn bit of acting going on. Uh, 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 uh. Oh. There is one scene where I'm eating a steak, staring at her breast the entire scene. And I swear to God, I don't think I had a line in that scene, but I got fan mail. Mm. Oh. Would you like to know what would be seriously good for you? What brand in my diet? Jay Moore was very funny. The, the pace of the show and, and, the, and the style of the, of the jokes is, is a kind of a unique thing. And some people come and they get it, and some people, it takes them a while to sort of get up to speed. And Jay Moore totally got it. You're probably thinking, why didn't you do that before I got here? But you weren't sure if you'd be overstepping your boundaries. What if I was some territorial ass with a giant ego, or a territorial ego with a giant ass? Stop me, Sally, please. Rick Schroeder came on to play a guy named Paul, and I think he's the hottest thing. And hey, don't you work at the hospital, too? It's kind of cool to walk out and be like, oh, it's Ricky Schroeder's here. Uh, I love the Ricker. Ricky, the Ricker, who brought all those back to him. Sarah and I were talking about how we all had a crush on him when we were silver spoons. You know, we're all little girls. Oh my God! What? Silver Spoons was uh, a seminal show for me. So when he came by, it was like, it's Ricky Schroeder. He'd be like, it's Rick. I'm like, <laughs> it's Rick now. <laughs>